Hi everyone, Joseph here. I've got another devotional for you. I hope you're doing well, that you're staying safe. The scripture I wanted to share with you today uh, is out of Luke chapter 17, verses 5 to 10, and especially the story from verses 7 to 10. Just summing up what those scriptures are saying, uh, you have Jesus telling a little story, and he's saying between a master and his slave, how many, how many masters have you ever seen tell their slaves, ah, yeah, come on down, sit with me at the table, enjoy this meal with me. Nah, what the, what the master says to him is, no, you prepare everything. You prepare everything, and then I'm going to eat, and then you've got to clean up. And then afterwards, the slaves are going to tell themselves, we're unworthy servants because we only did what we were told to. And that word, unworthy, uh, actually translated means useless. We are useless servants because we only did what we were told to do. Okay, so we get that. We, we get the understanding that Jesus is telling us to go a little bit beyond uh, what uh, we see here. Okay, we've got that. But the context is really different because the context, which I never saw before now, the disciples in verse 5 are asking Jesus, increase our faith. Well, how does one fit into the other? It just doesn't seem right. But what Jesus is telling us is that the nature of our faith, the more faith we have, the more that we will go beyond our own understanding. Don't lean on our own understanding. Okay? 2 Corinthians 4.18 says, We do not look to or pay attention to those things that we can see, because those things will pass away. But we look to the things that we do do not see because those things are eternal. And so coming back to this story, we put our hope and our trust in God who we don't see, of course, but what Jesus was saying to the disciples is, look, just doing the commandments, well, okay, you do that, but is that going to please the master? No. God wants a personal relationship with us. And that means that we go to God personally and he wants to personally answer us. And what he is saying is, come to me because I will reveal to you things that no man has thought or imagined or dreamed of. Because God wants to accomplish his dreams and his heart here on this earth through you and through me. That is God's heart for you and for me. He wants to share with us things that go beyond our natural understanding, beyond what we can see, because he wants his kingdom to come. As it is in heaven, that his kingdom will come here on earth. And that's God's heart for us. If we are willing and we can ask God in Jesus' name, and he will, re he will reveal to us things that no man has heard. No, no man has heard, no eye has seen the great things that God desires for us. May God bless you today and may you seek the things that are above and not simply the things that are right here below in front of our eyes. God bless you.